In today's video, I'm going to give you a full beginner tutorial of the Wix AI website builder feature. I'm going to show you how it all works. I'm going to show you if it's actually worth it and if it builds a good site. So let's get right into it. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go up to the My Site section and I'm going to click on this Create New Site bit. Now this should take a second to load while it gets me a new site. And here you can, say it, you can see it says, Bring your ideas to life with AI. Get started faster with the help of AI. Tell us about yourself and get personalized tools, images, and text for your site. So you can start chat or you can set up about AI. We're going to do start chat here. And it's going to say, firstly, what do you want to call your site? So I'm going to call this Easy L Help. Now you can put any, any name in there. It's really up to you. Great, let's catch your name. Now, could you please tell me a little bit about your business? What does it do? I'm going to say, Easy L helps people solve their digital problems problems with in-depth, easy-to-understand tutorials. Cool. So we put that, and now it's going to ask us another question. So this is quite easy. It kind of helps us, walks us through it. It sounds like a valuable resource. To understand your business, could you share some general information such as your location and any specific services you offer? So it's kind of unrelated to what I've said, but I will say we are from the UK. We provide video content that answers people's digital problem questions. Let's see what it comes up with. So it's typing. At the moment, it's a bit, you know, let's see. Now let's talk about a bit of your business. Could you show any significant milestones? Let's say we have over 7,000 subscribers on YouTube. So I'm quite interested to see if it actually is um, good. It, over here, it shows like a little um, build out, it looks like. Of the profile of what we are okay cool what are your core values or principles providing high quality in-depth videos that help solve problems okay So the answers are a little bit basic, but let's see. Um, does it have any unique selling points that are set apart from the industry? In depth, clear, concise. Oh. Okay, cool. So now apparently it's ready to go. Let's go to the dashboard and see what it looks like. Now, is it going to be horrible or is it going to be good? I really don't know. So it's loading in. Okay, so we're at the dashboard. Let's go ahead and actually go to the site and have a look what it looks like. So I'm going to click on the design site section. And again, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to let them do it for me. And it's going to ask some info here. I'm just going to skip that bit. I'm just going to put next. Um, it's asking for like a base theme. I kind of like this here. It's quite nice. Now, this could save us a lot of time. Okay, so pick your favorite homepage design. Well, these two are horrible, so it'll have to be this one. Um, add pages, okay, we'll add an about us, we'll add a contact us. Adding your pages. Taking a little bit of time for this to actually go ahead and work. Okay, congratulations, your site is up and running. Let's go to here and see. So we can see here that the site is kind of created us is 
very very basic it literally has no information really um about what we've said i mean maybe this section is a bit relevant but the information we put in earlier kind of has literally almost no relevance to what we've said here it kind of i think it's just it's literally just spat out a random website um yeah it's, it's not that impressive at all uh i think we can go and we can click create ai text here but you know we've, we've answered all of these questions and stuff and it's it's just been not useful it has given us no use essentially so i'd say it's it's not worth doing at all um i mean it's called cool. created a good base template but i don't think that's even ai like any other any other builder would do this for you so i don't think it's worth using um and i think you're better off just building it yourself if you enjoyed the video and found it useful be sure to like and subscribe and also comment down below that it helped you out thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video